Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is News Now Ninja. Today's video is a very strange and mysterious story coming to you from right here in my own neighborhood. In this story, a man was found unalived in a house that was not his. And then the owner of the house was found unalived in a vehicle a week later at the same property. Stay tuned. everybody i want to talk a little bit about this story because it's right down the road from my home and it seems to be very interesting to say the least so a nosy neighbor saw a vehicle running and decided to get a welfare check officers show up to do a welfare check and end up finding a man unalived inside of this here residence that you can see well it's not the homeowner so they put out reports uh even saying you know that he wasn't a suspect at this time, he's not being charged, looking for the homeowner. Keep in mind that uh, they were called around 8.30 a.m., as you can see here on the screen, it's at 1700 block of West T.C. Jester. Multiple gunshot wounds, but this isn't the weirdest part of the story. See, because just on the first, mind you, six days later, the story that's released is this here. Homeowner found unalive less than a week after another man was also unalive at his residence, right? This is what the report says. But why was he found unalive at the same residence six days later? I'm asking myself the same question because it looks kind of like possibly HPD or whoever was doing this investigation just missed that there was a whole nother unalive person at this crime scene for six days straight? How does that happen? How do they find the homeowner a week later? Okay. Let's read a little bit about what they say. Authorities say the situation began late last month when a man was found unalived at the house. The neighbor reportedly called officers after the victim's car was left running. HBD officials say the victims who were identified as Dana Ristol, Ristol, had been, you know what, several times. Additionally, investigators said Ristol's truck was also missing from the home, causing them to believe it had been taken. Investigators said they were also searching for the homeowner, 37-year-old James, excuse me, on Saturday, police revealed, uh, they found Martin's, you know what, in another vehicle at the same home where Resdale was found. Huh. How did that happen? He, he also was reportedly pew-pewed and uh, was found unalive February 1st, six days after the original report. Guys, let me know what y'all think about this. Um, this is a developing story, so we have not got all the conclusions I will go ahead and uh, play a couple of little pieces of these clips, I guess, since we've kind of gone over the gist of the story. So I'll let y'all hear what they're saying and uh, then we'll sum this up. That is where we begin this Sunday. Good evening to you. I'm Brandon Walker. Police were looking for James Gerald Martin III after they went to his home on West T.C. Jester Boulevard last month. When they arrived, they found Dana Rizdahl shot multiple times. Let's get to KPRC2's Rochelle Turner. She's live from that neighborhood in Northwest Houston with the very little. Yeah, they found that guy, you know what, multiple times, but they didn't find a whole other unalived person at the same address. This is just mind blowing to me, guys. How do you overlook a whole body? Done this, Rochelle. And Brandon, neighbors and police are not saying much about this bizarre incident. There's so many questions about who could have did this and what happened. Houston police have not named any suspects in this case. Now, earlier this week, they found the body of that man. He is 37 year old. James Gerald Martin III in another vehicle at the same home where Risedale was found. Authorities say the situation began last month when Risedale was 
found dead at the home. A neighbor reportedly called officers after his car was left running. Investigators also said Rysdale's truck was also missing from the home, causing them to believe it had been taken. During the investigation, there was also, they were also searching for Martin, who was the homeowner. He was found shot to death on February 1st. Um, we do believe that this is going to be an isolated incident, um, but you know it's important at this point to not um, release some of the facts for the, to uphold the integrity of the investigation. Uphold the integrity. Uphold the integrity. Uphold the integrity of the investigation. Says the department that overlooked a whole unalived person for six days at the same address they were investigating. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments section. Keep in mind that I will be keeping everybody updated on this situation as it develops. Thank you all for the love and support that you continuously give me, and I'll see you on the next one.